Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are fine. Today's listen is a listening one and it's about hotel reservation part 2. Now let's start our listen by reading the objectives of our listen today. To learn some useful vocabulary to describe hotel rooms and facilities and to learn some steps to make a successful booking and to do some exercises. Now let's start by reading the, vo- the vocabulary related to hotel reservation. Ensuite bathroom is a bathroom attached to the bedroom. A safe is a box with a key where you put valuables like passport, jewelry, money and etc. A mini bar is a small fridge is a small fridge with drinks inside such as coke, water, juice and wine. Tea and coffee making facilities like a kettle to buy water, cups, coffee, milk, sugar and tea, sachets. 24 hour room service is meals delivered to your room. So that's what what we mean by room service, meals delivered to your room. Laundry or dry cleaning service is your clothes can be washed for you. Bar and restaurant, the hotel has a bar and restaurant for drinks and meals. Wi-Fi means an internet or internet connection, pronounced Wi-Fi. Full English, full English breakfast is a big breakfast with toast, eggs, bacon, cereal and etc. Continental breakfast is a small breakfast with croissant coffee and juice a wake up call when the telephone rings to wake you up of course you have to memorize these words okay now let's revise the steps to make a successful booking as we said before in the part one of hotel reservation we have to start the conversation then to respond to questions and room bookings. Here are some phrases you can use on the phone to make a booking in English. Like for example, I'd like to book a single or double or twin room for two nights please. Also I can say, I'd like to make a reservation for a single or double or twin room for the night of and then I have to write the date. Okay. And you have to know that reservation means a booking, okay? So both words are equal. Do you have or have the same meaning? Okay. Do you have any double rooms left for the weekend? Do you have any double rooms available this weekend? And of course you have to know that left and available have the same meaning or gives the same give the same meaning. Okay, how much is a single room room or a double room or a suite? What time is check-in? And check-in means when you arrive and give your passport information. What time is check-out? And check-out, of course, means when you leave and pay. Of course, also you can ask what time is breakfast. Are all your rooms en suite? Which means with a bathroom. Is there Wi-Fi in the room? Is there a lift? And left, of course, means elevator. Okay, now let's read this full example of hotel reservation. Front desk. Welcome to the White Hotel. How may I help you? Traveler. I'd like a room, please. Front desk. Would you like a single or a double? Traveler. I'd like a double, please. Front desk. May I have your name, please? Traveler, Timothy Findlay. Front desk. Could you spell that, please? Traveler, F I N D L E Y. Front desk. How many are in your party? Traveler, just two. Front desk. How many nights would you like to stay? Traveler, just tonight. Front desk. How will you be paying? Traveler, is Visa okay? Front desk, that's be fine, that will be fine. Would you like a wake up call? 
traveler. Yes, I'd like a wake-up call for six thirty. Do you have a pool? From the desk. Yes, we do. On the second floor. Here's your key. That room four hundred and five on the fourth floor. Okay. Now let's listen to the track and answer this question. Listen and put true or false. T or F. Okay. Sarah Johnson has reserved a room at the Wyatt Hotel in Honolulu. She has now just arrived and is ready to check in. Listen to the conversation as Lisa at reception helps Sarah to register for the room. Pay attention to the language that Sarah uses. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Good afternoon. My name is Johnson. I'd like to check in, please. Yes, of course. Just a moment. Oh, here it is. Sarah Johnson, is that right? Yes. You're in our double business suite with a balcony facing the courtyard. Non-smoking? Yes, we have you on a non-smoking floor. Good. Are you staying for three nights? Yes. Could you please fill out this registration card? Yes, of course. Do I fill in my home address? Yes, please. Do you also have my dinner reservation? Yes, we have a table for you in our Sunset Restaurant for dinner at 8 o'clock. That's great. Have you stayed at the Wyatt before? Yes, but it's been a while. How do I get to the restaurant? Take the elevator to the third floor and turn left. There'll be someone there to welcome you. Great, thank you. And how about your fitness center? It's on the ninth floor. Don't forget to bring your room key. You'll need it to get in. Okay, thanks. Oh, and can I get an extra key? My husband will need one too. Yes, of course. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Now I just need to get your room deposit. Here's my credit card. Thank you. Uh, when is checkout? My flight is not until 5 p.m. on Sunday. Checkout is at noon, but you can just call down if you need a little extra time. It's usually not a problem. Thanks. Okay, we have you in room 735. Just take the elevator to the 7th floor, and it will be on the Malka side of the building. Here are your room keys. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. Okay, just let us know if we can be of assistance. I will. What's your name? My name is Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. You've been a great help. No problem. Enjoy your stay. I will. Now let's start to answer. Okay. Number one. She's staying in a double room business suite. Excellent. It's true. Number two. She wants a non-smoking room. Great. True. Number three. She should write her work address. Yeah, excellent. That's wrong. Okay, number four. The restaurant is on the third floor. Excellent. That's true. Number five. To get into the fitness center, she should bring her, key, her car keys. Yeah, excellent. That's wrong. Okay, so that's false. F. Number six. She will pay her room deposit in cash. Great, that's wrong. Number seven, check out is at noon. Excellent, true. Number eight, the receptionist is called Lisa. Great, that's also true. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you soon.